Hey Dad, I was reading over Reddit the other day, and it said you only need five bottles of whiskey at a time. You should probably not tell Mom about that. That's insane. What? Five? I couldn't pick five if I wanted to. This is this is this is ridiculous. Who would pick only five? What's what's wrong with these people? There's so many amazing different whiskeys in this world. I mean, if you had to buy five, you, you know, it has to be like the everlasting bottle, like a freaking genie could just, just would it, empty it out. You get another one. I mean, that seems more logical to me. If you only pick five, you're like everlasting five, not five. Or you need five barrels of whiskey. I mean, this is crazy. So our buddy uh, Jason over at the Mash and Drum, he challenged me to this. He says, pick any five whiskeys. I mean, any five, not just bourbons or rice, like most of the other channels have already done. This, this channel started, started out by the Bourbon Junkies, uh, Dan and Sean, who then gave it over to Matt over ADHD Whiskey, who then sent it on to uh, Michael Klein over at Bourbon Destination, who then challenged Shayla at Whiskey Central. And then Shayla challenged Jason over at the Mashing Drum, who then challenged me. So we're going to take the nature of this challenge and really take this challenge the way it's meant to be taken as five real whiskeys, not just bourbon and rye, because, you know, it's just bourbon and rye. They're, well, they're good. I'd rather have other things. So this says on this list, supposedly we need one that is a daily drinker, two to impress your guests, three is a mixer, four is my Friday night pour, and five is one to you string for special occasions. All right. So like I said, Jason challenged me to uh, do this. So we're going to pick, like I said, any five whiskeys because it's a bourbon, rye, great and all. So, you know, a lot of people might start with this, this Blanton's for their daily drinker, but it's not that good and it's kind of bland. So why would we drink this? So instead for my daily drinker, I'm going to pick Balcona's single malt. It's about the same price. It's around $60 and it's actually fantastic. And you actually might want to drink this every day, unlike blends, which you don't because it's just not that great. It used to be, but it's not, you know, this is a, the Texas whiskey that I fell in love with. And I've been through many bottles of uh, Balcona's and I just freaking love this stuff. I mean, it's a single malt. It's, you know, it's, this one's an older one that's only 14 months old, but I know it would deter a lot of people, but it doesn't deter me. It's it's just great whiskey. You know, it's 106 proof. I mean, all sorts of, you know, lots of fruit, and it's got a nice Texas back. I mean, the color on that does not say, hey, I'm only 14 months old. But, yeah, it's fantastic. So that would be my uh, my daily sipper for sure. All right, so if I want to have friends over and I want to impress my friends, you know what's really fucking impressive? This is fucking impressive. It's just this. This This is impressive. And nobody gets a shit about one bottle, but I'm going to do one bottle just because. So here we go. One bottle. Gonna, let's go something that actually would impress people, not just be like, oh, it's cute. It's whatever. It's nice. We're going to impress people. We're going to get out Brucladi Black Art, the 4.1 specifically from 1990. This is a 23-year-old unpeated scotch. And it comes in this awesome canister and it's a badass bottle. Look at it. It comes out, sings to you and everything. I mean, look at that thing. It's beautiful. It's just a dead sexy bottle. It's got this cool star on it. It's just, it's really awesome. And 49.2%. Uh, and just, this, just, it just, the finish goes on and on with this thing. You just, anybody that's ever given this to has been like, holy crap, that is amazing. Even if they don't like scotch, they're like, they can appreciate that this is an amazing bottle. It's great presentation. They're like, and you see, most people don't get to try 23 year old scotches, let alone one that's this freaking awesome. And I mean, I think the MSRP at this day is up to almost 400. It's thankfully, not what I paid for it, but uh, that's what they're up to, and they're becoming harder and harder to get. So, this is definitely a very impressive bottle to shoot sh your friends to. All right. So, third pick mixers. Who needs a fucking mixer? God, you know, this is a mixer. Ardbeg 10. You know why I picked this? Because I can fix any crappy whiskey known to man. You put enough hard bag 10 in, it'll fix it. Pete fixes everything. If it's crappy to you, if it's a $2 whiskey you don't like, like this puppy, you can add this to it and make it better. If it's, you know, some other, it's Eagle Rare, you don't like this, you can add hard bag 10, it'll fix it. It fixes everything. It's the ultimate mixer, fixer of all whiskeys. So just to let you know, hard bag 10 is a uh, 46% made on Isla and it's Pete. Because you know why? Pete's fucking awesome. If you don't like Pete, I'm sorry. Maybe someday you will. Maybe someday you won't. But I love Pete, and Pete fixes everything. So this is the fucking mixture of champions. All right. So the next one is your Friday night pour. Friday night pour? Now, if we're going to have a Friday night pour, we're going to have a real fucking Friday night pour. Cavalon. 
is Cast Strength Sherry Cask. First of all, it comes in an awesome box. You can also impress your friends with it, but I'm going to drink this on Friday night. It opens up. It's this beautiful box. Look at the color on this one. Look at that. You can't even see through the damn thing. That's Sherry. This is a 10-year-old from Taiwan. And oh my gosh, if you like Sherry, this will blow your freaking mind. This, I mean, this is just, you know, this is one of those ones you sit back, you can just sit there for two hours and just drink the same, you know, pour because it's just that damn good. And that makes every Friday night better, especially coming in at a whopping 57.8%. So, yeah, I would say this not only is this a Friday night, this is probably one of the ultimate Sherry bombs that there is in whiskey. This may be, this is better than most scotches as far as sherry bombs go. So I would definitely say this is a definitely the Friday night one. All right. All right. So the final one we were asked to do is the special occasion pour. So I went through and I had a, I had a really hard time with this one. So I had to go through, you know, first I thought of this, this 35 year long more. One of my absolute favorite whiskeys of all time. If I'm going to have a really special celebration of whiskey, you know, I've got a 30-year Glen Gassow, 25-year Buna Havens, 45-year Glen Levitt, all those, which are very impressive. But I thought still one of the best whiskeys I've ever had in my life has got to be Middleton, Der Gaelic, Grinnell's Wood. If, this, if I had an everlasting bottle of just this bottle, I'd be a happy man every day. If I could have a bottle of this every day, this would be the only thing I ever drink because it's so damn good. But it's so rare. So what this is, this this is a virgin oak Irish cash strain from Middleton. Middleton makes Jameson, Redbreast, all excellent whiskeys. Except for this, this destroys them all. This destroyed a Redbreast 32, a Tinling 24, and a head-to-head -head just absolute massacre. So like I said, this thing comes in at 115.8. This blows away pretty much almost every scotch I've ever had. This is just, a, this is a celebration pour. There's, there's almost nothing better. Uh, I just I freaking love this whiskey. And I would love, if I had to have 20 more of these, that'd be great. But unfortunately, obviously they're very hard to find, but this is it. This is the absolute pinnacle of Irish whiskey and the pinnacle of almost all whiskeys ever made for me that I've ever tried. So this is the celebration pour for me. It's Middleton, their Gaelic. So I think, so just to recap, the, Drink the daily is the Balcones Texas single malt. Impress your friends, Ruclati Black Art. Once again, the ultimate mixer and fixer, Ardbeg 10. My Friday night pour, the Cavalon Sherry Cask. And the ultimate celebration, Middleton Dare Gaelic Grinnell's Wood. So, what we like to do is push us out, and we I would like to challenge Scott and Bart of the Scotch Test Dummies, as they're the old school guys, one of the originals uh, whiskey tubers, and they have amazing collections. I want to know those two guys, who's a five whiskeys that are on this list. So I like to I challenge Scott and Bart to the next generation of this. So ch thank you to the Reddit guy and to Jason for uh, putting up this challenge. Really appreciate it. And go check out all the other channels that have done this previously. So we will put in the link below to all the other channels that came before us for this awesome challenge. And so keep on crusading for better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. All hail Ardbeg. What's this? Oh, I forgot I even had all these wellers. Wow, awesome. Oh, store picks of Eagle Rare. Oh, Four Roses, L.E. Oh, some old Glen Ross, a Parliament, Glendronic. Oh my. Ooh, look at the E.H. Taylor. What's this? Oh, oh God. Oh. I gotta get the hell out of this box diving because it's a pain in the ass. Oh, I'm stuck. Fat man down. Oh, <coughs> here we go. Look, Miller 12. Oh, oh, I'm out of here. Oh, God, I'm a sweaty bitch.